Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Our mission at the moment is to head to the Red Meadow Research Facility up here. And to get there, I think I'm going to go this way, going through E6, which we've been to, and then three locations we haven't been to, including one that is a highway. Oh, by the way, we have a new fax. Talk to us today about how to unlock the potential of your Arda retirement plan, because your savings should be part of your present, as well as your future. Nothing of interest in E6. Let's continue on to Junction C3, rest stop. What do we got? Oh, dense acid. Acid in this part of the zone is especially strong and will inflict even more damage than usual. I can't remember if this place has unstable power or what, but I think I want this power regardless. Looks like we're in a valley. Man, with the battery upgrade and the fuel upgrades, we have so much. Look at the red and the, the yellow indicators there. For some reason, my fuel hasn't been going down. Actually, wait, no, it is going down. That yellow right there. Can I zoom in on it? Yeah, the yellow there on the right. That's not fuel. What is that? I have no idea. Yeah, the fuel is just a fuel gauge, I guess. God only knows. I really don't need fuel. Ah! Let go of me. Nice and slow. Oh, I gotta be on the lookout for eggs. I need more eggs. Actually, wait a second. Are these those mushrooms that they mentioned? Yeah, it might be, but they're not something I can scan. Or do they respond to light? No, it doesn't seem so. Unstable. Strong acids are really, really extra. Don't want it. Touch the acid. Let's get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, hey, that's a different one. Sick Mickey. Yeah, I'll read about that later. Okay, think I'm safe. <laughs> Maybe not.
I think I want to loot this cluster of buildings after. Hey, these are apparently a resource. Twisted Ember. What are these going to give me? Typically, carbon only exhibits liquid properties at high temperatures and pressures, generally over 4,500 Kelvin and 100 atmospheres. A week ago, if you'd asked me about the conditions in which I expected it to exist, I would have presented these figures. But after a what seems to be a combination of mass hallucinations, seismic events, and radiation bursts, more and more of the zone is behaving differently. The environment, the weather, even substances and elements themselves seem altered, as if mutated. In the woods west of our facility, what appears to be some form of liquid carbon flows like sap through many of the torched or petrified trees. Certainly it is hot, but not so that it can't be collected and handled. Initial analysis shows that it still behaves and reacts like carbon, but in this new form it is lighter, less dense, and yet also burns more efficiently. We have collected several lighters... Leaders, sorry, <laughs> leaders for further study. Recommended tool, the hand vac. Tree candy, right. There was something I wanted to make that needed that. I think it was the all-terrain tires. I researched all-terrain tires, but I just didn't have the resources to actually make them. Oh, this is a whole separate thing. Sap Compressor. I think at last that we may have perfected the crystalline form of this strange new carbon sap. With Dr. Turner's focused electrostimulative limb induction, we can essentially grow crystals almost as casually as if we were doing a high school homework assignment. Perhaps I'm exaggerating a little here. We still need to set up the inductors on location, and they must be carefully monitored to avoid overgrowth, as we are not even close to observing consistent development. Still, the resource costs are very low and the rewards are plain. We can begin to compress and shape sap, before then collecting and using the resulting crystals in far greater quantities than ever. And the applications of this? It could be extraordinary. Impact hammer is the suggested tool. Um. That did say impact hammer. Yeah. Impact hammer. That is what I have, right? Impact hammer. Yeah. Okay. Clearly I'm missing something. Maybe the next one will work. of the Section 1 Northern Facility, Dr. Ken Washington. Welcome. Happy to be here. Uh, Dr. Washington, I understand... Okay, I guess I just have to leave now. ...for some time? Uh, in fact, I was born and raised on the Olympic Peninsula. I chose to come back here with a mystery to some colleagues, but there's never a question that I've come home. Uh, I think there was a method to my career, but here I am. What can you tell us about this new initiative you're spearheading? My chief focus was joining the regulatory commission to put all the technology into the hands of the people. It's been 20 years since this zone was established when the original commission climbed up the new career in the world of research. Of course, it was a necessary action. Hold on, what are these? After two decades, it's kind of shared with the world. These are sap compressors? These look nothing like what I was looking at before. Yeah. 
3.1 unstable power. Check it out, we got all-terrain tires now, thanks to the tree candy. They have slightly worse performance off-road than the off-road tires, because they're less specialized, but they have better road performance, so yeah, they're just overall generally good at everything. New facts? Oh, more Morse code. Working our way closer and closer to Red Meadow. Next, I'm going to go here to Junction C2, going through E6 and then C3. All right, there's a message here I want to get, but this place is unstable and the storm is coming, so we need to be fast. And I'm driving through a swamp, which is not very fast. Don't tell me the message is in poison. Oh, Jesus, it is. All right, let's be fast. claimed to be her invention, was the reason the zone was created. The facts point to either the pursuit of Lim or the technology itself doing something terrible to the area, and maybe even to the people who stayed behind. For such a vast, valuable area as the Olympic Peninsula to be lost to the world for the indefinite future, someone needed to take the fall. The evidence in this corner paints the target square on the martyr part of this equation. Or, did Dr. Ophelia Turner know what she was unleashing upon her homeland? If she did it willingly, then she would have been a monster. But if the government strong-armed her into it, then she would have had no choice but to become a martyr. To answer that question, we need more information still. Hold on. What the hell is this? Fucking Arda. Oh my god. Arda rocket. Quickly, quickly. Oh, lots of putty. Nice. I don't really need the door. Is there just the one? Or is this... Nah, they both reach the same inventory. Okay, let's move along to Junction C2, back roads. An unexplored place that apparently has dense acid. The Scorch. Looks like we have a very large mountain at the center and a long winding road up to it with a couple buildings. A couple power sources here. Yeah, I think I'll grab the power sources. So I'll go up here, take a right, grab the power sources, and then just follow the road up to the top of the hill. The way down from the hill is going to be quite fun. I don't... 
think I've seen that bouncy thing before. There we go. Moldy balloon. Nice. Get off of me. Okay, that's a... Uh also a new one. It's one of those bunnies, but poison-themed. Time to go. And then we just follow this road all the way to the top of the hill. I wonder if this thing seeks me out and tries to hit me, or if I just need to avoid it. And it just does whatever it does without really considering me. Do we want a speed boost? Yeah, I think we want a speed boost. <laughs> instant regret. Well, I guess it wasn't instant. One second delayed regret. Hold on, I think I need this stuff. Looted and repaired a couple things. Hmm. Got a nasty storm moving through the zone. I don't think that's the run away from it storm, though. What type of storm is it? We're about to see. I think we're in it now. Oh, it's probably a storm of those things, huh? Yeah, I think it is. Jesus, fucking Armageddon. We're almost through it.
Get off me. Hold on, I need to scan you. Happy hair. What do you drop? Just scrap metal. Looks like the storm is done, thank god. Yeah, it's moving away from us. Just that one little stub of a guardrail left. How useful. It's sad when you see a speed limit sign for 45 and you've been gunning it the whole time and the max you can reach is 40. I can't speed even if I wanted to. Almost there. That's a hell of a hill, huh? Here we are. Don't know if there's really going to be anything special here. Oh. I can't even get in. I need an impact hammer, I ran out of that, and I need canisters, like cylinders, to make another one. Um, yeah, gas cylinder. That is what I'm missing. Can't get in there either. Well, I can make a pry bar, then I maybe be able to get in there. I might be able to find a gas cylinder back here a little bit. Nope, never mind. Couldn't find any. All right, let's get out of here. We are going to take a straight line route there. That should be very interesting. I'm releasing the throttle. I don't think we'll need it anymore. Okay, I'm going to throttle a little bit. Okay, now we really, really, really don't need it. I'm holding down the handbrake. Oh, all right. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. The vehicle protection is compromised, so I am getting all of the radiation. Thankfully, we're almost here. I think, like, at least half of our car parts were red. Whew. Unstable, 5.2, unstable. Hey, you sure took your time out there. New facts? Mayday, mayday, this is 9 Charlie Victor 33 out of Port Orchard Airport. I've lost control of my aircraft above the Olympic Peninsula. I, I can't move. Aircraft is completely stationary. Alright, we should be able to reach Red Meadow now. Gonna take the route up that we have unlocked thus far, which has two unstable zones. That should be fun. I'll bring you back if anything particularly interesting happens. Now arriving at Red Meadow. Ooh, this is different. Looks like we just follow the winding path down and then we're we're here. Yesterday, you 
bugs to your eyeballs and paperwork? Francis coated in chalk dust from the black horse. You mistaking my lab notes for trash pile and throwing away weeks of work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to see it again. They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. Oh yeah, I got the resources somehow um, to make the thermal vacuum. It sucks really well and makes light at the same time, just like it said it would. Ah! No, 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 give me that back. Oh my god, they grabbed me. Let me go. Ah! Dear God, I gotta get out of here. All right, we're inside. my objective I do want more power so at regular intervals there's these squares these pillars what are they exactly did this used to be completely enclosed yeah it looks like there are support pillars Oh, that's cool how some of them have fallen down. Blocking the road. Partly. Think I can go around. Ooh, can I? Oh. No. Maybe I could on foot, but definitely not with the car. Let me go. Yeah. Quick, get it away from him. I think that's good enough. Let's head to the uh, 
objective. Actually, how do I get there? Isn't there a wall in the way? I don't know. Let's just head straight there and see what we see. Yeah, that's pretty closed. Can I crouch under? There, I looted some drinks. I don't know why. Oh, oh my god. I don't know why my view did that. Okay. Um... How do we get there? We came from here. There's two pathways going off to the sides. I don't see how that would help. I mean, I guess I just go along the wall looking for a crack, right? Yeah, here we go. Dr. K's access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scowl at this place, Queen. There are some things here, we just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> Not your usual MO, Oppie. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. This is promising. Hang on, wait, wait, where are you going? That should have been the end of the facility. According to the blueprints, anyway. Ooh. Yeah, nothing on our map. What is that? Security protocol activated. Scan artist security credentials immediately. Okay. I, I suppose I should do that, maybe. After all these years, an artist still has something to hide. <laughs> We're definitely onto something now. Driver, anything you find down there, scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. Alright, thanks. Art of Phenomena Report. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you can find. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now this place has no power. I don't think it actually affects anything, but it just makes it harder to see, and that sucks. Not worth it. Oh, you'll like this, Tobias. Your remnant origin story, if you will. <laughs> Let me guess. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of sides. <laughs> Fine, I'll read this one myself. Nice work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. These lab notes are complete gibberish. 
What about these diagrams, though? It looks like he was trying to convey something. You can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want. You won't find anything useful in them. This is a decrypted record of the accident. Arpy, are you sure you want to hear this? It's got details about Alan's final moments. It's been over 30 years. I'm past ready. Go on, driver. Keep snooping and see what else you can find. Oh, I thought by stabilizer meant I'd be using one of those stabilizer towers. I guess not. I guess we're just leaving normally. Oh, what is this? Driver, you hit the jackpot. We've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone. Tobias, give us the rundown about the well. Auto classified it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous, and ultimately, Auto made no conclusion about what caused it, when it would blow, or how destructive it would be. Arda, of course, wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. Well, they brought in Dr. K and Alan to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. The well. Second report's a good one. Ready to hear where the remnants came from? The original remnants were created in Dr. K's lab. They aimed to create a trigger for activating the well. By fusing objects with a carefully calibrated lip wave, the ones that shared a resonant frequency would... Yeah, yeah, just get to the good stuff. <sighs> you know, you'd be a much better ghost hunter if it weren't for that unfortunate attention span. Reading this makes it obvious how the remnants ended up in the wild. Wait, wait, what, 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 how? The gamma ray surge that caused the mass hallucination event. That energy irradiated everything within a 10-mile radius. Objects with the right characteristics absorbed that energy and became the remnants people found out in the zone. Wow. Francis would get a kick out of that one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell him later. So that purple thing that we saw moving across the map and then suddenly land, that's the payload. That's that, like, rocket that fell down full of equipment. Now we go into the deep zone. Easy peasy. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. That. Uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve, huh? Is that how you think it works? That scientists conjure up genius at will. Well, yeah. Do you? Uh, well, in this case, I do. But don't expect it to work like that every time. Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. 
but I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. Where do they send the blueprints? Ah. Limb shield. The old anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the deep zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute our power into the deep zone but we need to jump start the network somehow that car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels the driver induces a current then you open the electrical floodgates and they'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed i don't know what to tell you if you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now then go back to hunting ghosts we've got a job to do here this could work are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? We don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. All right! The team is assembled. Nice work on that limb shield driver. We'll have the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall. We have a new fax. You think you can drive a car and change the world? It doesn't work like that. Let's install a rapid refill pump. Allows us to refill faster. Curious what this thing looks like. Okay, yeah, that's definitely fancier. Look at that. I've got a pneumatic locker kit, so it's going to upgrade one of my existing lockers to hold way, way, way more by making use of some sort of like underground storage is the idea behind it. So let's see how much it increases. This is... Wait, that's an expanded locker. Ah, so this one must be already expanded. And this is a normal one. So I guess we know how big it's going to become. Wait. No. It's going to get even bigger. <laughs> That's cool looking. How much... To oh! It has an entirely different menu system. Wait, how much can it hold? What's the limit? Is it unlimited? Can't be. I think it actually might be unlimited. I just took every single resource that was in this locker, and this thing was completely full, and I put it in here. It held all of that. And then I grabbed everything from here, except for the road flares, and it held all of that. I think it might actually be unlimited. Just researched the nitro boost and made it. it takes the place of the bumper. You can see it looks like it's going to jet out the back, which... Oh, I wish I could see that. But I don't think there's any way for me to do that. It takes a lot of power to use. I think it's like 1.5 kilowatts per second or something like that. It's an ability, so... I can assign it to something here. What should I put it on? Probably shift, right? That feels appropriate. Whoa! It works! Uh, I didn't think that would actually work without the engine being on. Okay, I had some weird quirks happening with my car. Like, when I left it alone, it seemed to just go haywire and start to go forwards and then go backwards and honk and just do a bunch of stuff. Uh, it says I can get a hint by using 0.5 power, so let's do that. Two hints found. Wait, so wipers? So does that have something to do with the wipers? Oh. Wipers or the car. Right, I think I maybe have multiple quirks going on. What the heck toggles? 
Well, I have tons of extra power, so oh, we'll take another hint. The dome light toggles? That's definitely not the only problem. I don't even think I noticed this one. The one I'm thinking of is much more serious, but I think the quirks maybe go away with time, so perhaps the one I'm thinking of is gone. Oh, jeez. It's so specific. Wipers go left, wipers stay off. I suppose I can mess around with the wipers myself. See if I can figure it out. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. When the wipers go left, the speed gauge, like, revs or whatever. So, wipers go left. Dashboard speedometer fails, I guess must be it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I'm going to make my way to the Deep Zone Crossing. <laughs>